Well, our next story takes us to Los Angeles, where the city is trying out a new tactic to deter the homeless population from setting up camp at the metro station. For more on this, we're being joined live now by Fox 11's Phil Schumann. Hey, Phil, tell us a little bit more about this new tactic, and is it working? Well, Metro says it is. We'll get into that, Lexi. Uh, you know, almost a million people here in Southern California rely on the Metro system every weekday, um, either the bus or the subway. Safety is the number one concern. Crime is up, and that is a problem. So with this one particular Metro stop near L.A.'s historic MacArthur Park, they're trying something a little bit different. Listen closely as the trains come and go from Metro's Westlake MacArthur Park Station. That's classical music being played through the speakers. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. It gives me anxiety. It like, like, like my heart race. It's not for pleasure. The idea is to keep people like Queen moving keep people from loitering, sleeping. The thinking is the music is only pleasant for brief spurts. Makes sense to regular riders like Jacob Moreno. At the end of the day, it's, you know, I find it like a bit peaceful, but I understand the reason why we have it. It's reasonable, but at the same time, you know, everybody deserves their shut eye. Metro says the music, just one part of an overall plan to improve safety, including additional security cameras, new lighting, fencing to restrict entry. The agency, faced with an increase in crime and decrease in ridership, says it's working. The pilot program, begun here at the start of the year, is intended to prevent issues before they occur. Early results show that incidents of graffiti, vandalism, loitering, and trash cleanup incidents have decreased by more than 50 percent. Very sensitive to criticism, Metro tells me they've actually lowered the volume. Again, in the time we were there, it was barely audible. Some people think the music is uh, is cruel. Well, you know, everyone has their own different perspective. But the thing is that if you've seen how it is down here, it's just a bunch of drug addicts, crackheads, and everything. So I understand why they're doing it because it kind of it disturbs them, you know? Because if you actually be down here, like, dude, trust it's me. It's quite an experience. Yeah, it's actually, like, it's horrible if you actually be here, like, in the nighttime. So back live, Lexi, you know, if you don't live in Southern California or Los Angeles, you may not even realize there is a subway system here, uh, but there is, and it has issues, um, and they're trying to fix them. And you might wonder, like, why we're not standing in front of the Westlake MacArthur Park subway station or down in the station where the music's playing. It's just simply not safe for a TV camera crew with the attention that we sometimes generate to be in that location. And so it's a huge issue here in Southern California. This is just one example of the things they're trying to do to make it better, uh, safer, and more welcoming, Lexi. Yeah, absolutely, Phil. And of course, safety is always the priority. So obviously, homelessness is such a huge issue in so many cities. How did they even come up with this idea to begin with? Well, it's been done in other mass transit uh, systems, most notably uh, Portland with mixed results. Also, you may have seen uh, stories in the past in Texas and here in Southern California, the 7-Eleven chain plays classical music to keep homeless people from loitering outside their store. But in those cases, it's pretty loud. And I'm not sure whether it was because they, were, they knew we were there today reporting on this or whether there was a problem with the system. But this was not like music that was blasting that would make you uncomfortable to, to stay in one place. I mean, as I mentioned in that story, I mean, you, you could barely hear it. So uh, their claims of this huge success uh, without really the statistics to back it up. I'd like to look a little bit uh, further into that. Yeah, very interesting. All right. Fox 11's Phil Schumann live in Los Angeles. Thanks so much, Phil. Okay.